Hi, Neo. Uh, hey, um, um, Eugene. Cha, <laughs> right, Eugene. Eugene. Cha, like, what's up, dude? Would you mind picking up my shift tomorrow? I need the day off so I can figure out how to make some money. Like, seriously, dude? Well, yeah. It's hard to think about how to make money if I'm too busy working. Like, just tell Dave you need a raise, man. A raise? Cha, I got one because of all the shifts of yours that I cover. But I don't cover anyone's shifts. Not even my own. Like, just tell him what you do for the company. Thanks, Leo. Hi, Mr. Dave. Hey, Eugene. Uh, can I help you with something? Yeah. Can I have a raise? A raise, huh? Sure. I've been here for over a year, and I figure you should pay me more. Okay. Sell it to me. Why should I pay you more? Well, I work 15 hours a week. Yeah, even though you're scheduled for 20. Well, yeah. But me asking to leave early every day saves the company money, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Plus, I'm late almost every day, so that saves you money, too. Uh, yeah. And I washed my uniform two weeks ago like you asked me to, even though Leo still calls me Pugene. Uh-huh. So, how much is my raise, Mr. Dave? Look, Eugene, the minimum wage is for entry-level workers. It doesn't exist so companies can pay you less. It exists to help businesses keep costs low because the people willing to take those jobs lack the skills or drive to make themselves better. Plus, it encourages people to learn new skills and to make them more valuable to their employers. If your value increases, then your wage will be commensurate to your effort and your skill level. However, if the company you work for isn't willing to pay you for those skills, then you're free to take those skills and apply them elsewhere. Free markets not only help keep the cost down, they ensure more opportunity for those who are willing to work towards something better. You understand, don't you? Oh, not really. And you still didn't tell me how much my raise is going to be.